What is going on, everybody? We are back here at the tabletop today, and we're talking about communications again. And I got the Baofeng UV5R sitting out on the tabletop, and a couple of these little skull candy dimes. You guys have seen these before. I've done a previous video on this set specifically, and at this point, I've probably got three or four different sets of these. I stow them away in, in different bags, and you know, I keep this one on the nightstand, and that's what I use to consume all my YouTube cont and whatnot. Um, but I want to talk about, you know, using communications in an everyday manner and a little bit more in depth on how beneficial they could be given the scenario. Uh, you know, this is great. This is great. This is far more capable than this, okay? This is like bare minimum level zero type of kit. And most people would not even consider this something to be used in any type of dynamic environment even though they can be, we'll talk about it. Um, but this is just, this, these are AirPods. These are, you know, whatever Android, whatever, bug, whatever, whatever they call them. I don't know what the hell they call them. Uh, I got the cheapo depot skull candies. These seriously are like 20 bucks. They're less than 30 bucks. You can get them on Amazon, have them at your house tomorrow. And I think worth every penny. Um, but communications, we communicate with people every single day, good, bad, or otherwise, and sometimes it's in emergency situations. Remember, you are your first responder, and if you are calling for help, you should probably be able to do that hands-free. Another point of contention is that, you know, this, while far more capable than something like these, uh, it's bigger, for sure. It's going to draw a lot of attention if you were just walking around on one of these. Plus, if it's not an emergency situation, you are not legally allowed to communicate on said device uh, because it's a ham radio. But then there's different ways around it and different frequencies you can use or supposedly can use and you don't get in trouble or whatever it may be. I know all about it. Um, but besides the point, this is just not a practical everyday carry kind of thing. Yes, you can throw it in a bag. You can keep it in the truck. I recommend things like that. Of course, have them stashed away in your kit and your chest rig and your assault pack you know on your plate carrier or whatever it may be but these these you could keep in your pocket you could loop them around your keychain you could whatever have them hanging off your everyday carry bag and they're going to be a lot more accessible a lot lighter weight potentially higher speed and lower drag and uh, will be there for you when you need them why might you need something like this outside of watching a youtube video which Make sure you're watching my YouTube videos. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Helps out an absolute ton fighting that uphill anti-gun YouTube algorithm battle constantly here on this channel. All the support is always appreciated, but there's more reasons than just talking on the phone, uh, you know, watching a movie, whatever, listening to music at the gym. That's all well and good. Also, everybody, work out, try and better yourself, get in better shape because you will last longer in a fight and be more productive and efficient in a fight. And hopefully that fight never comes, but that's why we do this stuff. We prepare in case that it does. And if you have all the stuff, but you can't walk up a flight of stairs without getting winded, maybe sell the stuff, buy a gym membership. I don't know. Either way, terribly tactical tirades aside, um done some previous content on this specific set, like I mentioned, or maybe I mentioned, I don't remember if I mentioned, but if I haven't mentioned, I've mentioned it enough times at this point, um, go check it out, whatever, but simple, you know, this, this is your charger, people are familiar with this kind of thing, you got your earbuds that come out, you could use one, both, none, whatever you want to do, um, simple, very lightweight, very small, it's really no bigger than a Zippo lighter, practically speaking, in your pocket, hanging off your keychain, and uh, you can use them to great effect in a wide variety of serious situations where you might need to call for help, okay, people? And again, those situations, most of the time, might require that you have access of your hands, and if you got one tied up on the phone or a radio like this or whatever... Um, not good, not beneficial, I would argue. So having hands-free capabilities or you're driving or whatever's going on, nice touch for sure. I will say this, if you're going to get a pair of these buds, which I've been thoroughly impressed with their performance for the length of time that I've owned them, um, the one downside, I would say, at least about these specific pairs or this specific pair, is that they're very plain, flat, and dark colored. Okay, so when you drop this and it rolls under the couch, 
or it gets wrapped up in your blankie or, you know, whatever, uh, you're walking through the woods. This is harder to find for sure than a high-vis option, uh, such as these new Take a Hike series, okay, which I do appreciate because it's cool and topographic and earth tone colors, but also Take a Hike, I appreciate the name because it's rather fun getting to tell people to do so when they deserve it, but either way, um, you know, it's a cool-looking set. They got high-vis stuff on it, so if you do drop it, you will not lose it, and, uh, you know, same performance, whatever, and if anything, one could argue if we're being, you know, sneaky little civilians, dirty civilians, which shout out to the Dirty Civilian channel, uh, make sure you check them out. Like I said, this is a lot more normal, I guess. The brighter colors, the louder it is, uh, the less it grabs people's attention. If you've got nothing but OD green and flat dark earth and and tactical black and, and this, that, and the, the third camo pattern, you know, it, people have an idea of what's going on. If you've got yellows and oranges and reds and whatever, you know, it doesn't look like you're trying to hide anything. It, it looks like you're asking for the attention and therefore you don't get it. So that could work in your advantage. Now I understand that this might seem a little far-fetched and sound like some James Bond secret espionage bullshit, um, but I've been personally in situations before where I've had to use comms uh, in a sense of a traditional civilian, which is all I am, uh, manner where you couldn't have something like this necessarily, and or at least out in the open, and, you know, something like this definitely would work. It definitely would work a lot better than what I was using, which was traditional, you know, wired earbuds. And those, you obviously want to conceal the wire, perhaps, and, you know, it tangles and gets caught on stuff. And then, you know, you move a weird way and it gets caught and it unplugs itself. And now it's a whole thing, right? So wireless buds, it's a convenience thing. It's higher speed and lower drag, you know, of course. Um, but definitely, definitely probably the way to go for sure in, in that aspect, in that regard. And there's a wide variety of situations as to why you'd want to be using something like this over something like this. Um, but not most of them apply to everyday people or your everyday situation. Let's talk about some that do. Well, for one, car wreck, whether you're in it or not, um, you might have to extract yourself or someone else from a vehicle. You also, at the same time, should probably be calling help. The police, the you know, the paramedics, whoever it may be, the, the fire department, they're all going to show up at the same time. Um, and obviously, when you dial 911, you're calling the police. But, uh, you know, being able to communicate, hey, this is where we're at, this is what's going on, while you're helping yourself or others get out of the vehicle, away from the vehicle, depending on what might be going on. You don't want the vehicle to explode. I understand it's not a Michael Bay movie, but, un you know, other than that, I mean, there, there's a wide variety of things. Uh, you could already and should already have these in your ears if you're on the phone and you're driving and we all do it right we all text and drive we all get on the phone and drive and a lot of people can bluetooth things straight to their vehicle maybe you don't want to have a public conversation with the other people in the car necessarily or whatever it is right but there's a lot of reasons as to why this is a better option uh, than other traditional means. And for emergency purposes, again, having the use of your hands, okay? So I've seen and, and responded to, as a regular dude on the side of the road that saw it happen, a pretty gnarly car wreck. Um, and ran down there, was trying to make sure everything was all right, help where I could. Uh, dude was pretty messed up, and, and it was a whole thing, but... Um, People, you know, a lot of people in today's day and age do not get on the phone with the police real quick. They're going to make a TikTok. They're going to take a YouTube short. They're going to videotape it so they could post, post it to Worldstar. They're not going to directly help or at least immediately in any way, shape, or form. In a lot of ways, they're getting in the way. Uh, so you have to never, you know, expect that someone else is going to do it, even if you tell them, hey, you, call the police, whatever it is, uh, which you should do. Calling the police several times about the same incident is not necessarily a bad thing in that, you know, in that time frame. Somebody's got to do it. I'd rather have 27 people do it than nobody do it and everybody thought somebody else was going to do it. So either way, though, you being there, being your first responder, being at 110% of your own emergencies and partially someone else's, uh, you can have these in your ears on the phone with the police, telling them exactly what's going on, where you're at, while you are still helping right then and there. Um, 
you, it, it makes you more capable. Uh, it, it makes it more efficient. And that way, you know that somebody called the police. They are on their way with help. And you can take care of the situation if you know how to until they get there. Let's talk about something else. Let's talk about another reason why this would definitely come in handy. Uh having your hands free and available to you, right? So you're in the mall, you're in the grocery store, whatever's going on, you could be anywhere, right? Because evil and crazy doesn't have an area code. Remember that, people. And carry your damn guns, all right? I'm sick of this. I work in a gun shop. You people come in all the time. Oh, I haven't shot my gun. I only carry it in the bad part of town. Oh, it's just sitting in the center console of the truck. That $70,000 Silverado is the most expensive holster you've ever paid for. Okay, people, carry your fucking guns. Either way, let's say... There is a need that arises for you to skin that old proverbial smoke wagon. Active shooter scenario, whatever, an evil piece of shit, scum of the earth came in and decided to, you know, perpetrate violence upon innocent people, and you as a prepared citizen uh, is there to stop the threat, and you are doing that real quick if you have the time. Obviously, every situation is different. Situation always dictates the tactics, but if you have the time... Get on the phone with the cops, have these in your ear, phone goes in a pocket, you're, you're communicating with them, it, it's, it's an ongoing live situation, they know exactly what's going on, they know exactly who you are, they know exactly what you're wearing, they know that, hey, you are armed and you are combating the threat currently, and so when they show up, uh, they don't instantly shoot your ass, all right, because that would be counterproductive, and, you know, that's always a, a point of contention, there's always something to worry about in that aspect, because... You might be the good guy, but to the cops showing up, you're a dude with a gun, and somebody just called about a dude with a gun. So being able to communicate while you're engaging a threat or you're reloading a gun or clearing a malfunction or, or helping people medically or whatever it may be is incredibly important in my opinion. And while situations like that happen so quick and most people don't even have the foresight or the forethought, or the presence of mind in the middle of it uh, to be able to, you know, bust these out of their pocket and throw them in their ears and get on the phone with 911. It is an option. It can be done. And again, that whole cliche of train like you fight, whatever it may be, uh, you can prepare yourself, you can train yourself, you can ingrain into yourself to have that as a, a ready grab-and-go option. This is part of the plan, okay? You have to have a plan. And we can't plan for everything, but having proper equipment and knowing how to use it and knowing what it's used for or what it can be used for uh, is all part of that. So, hey, you might not have time to grab these and, and put them on and, and, and call the cops for help, but you have them. So if that opportunity presents itself, you can do it. And doing that, I think, would prove to be nothing but beneficial for everybody around. And again, that personal responsibility of, hey, I can't expect anyone else to get on the phone. They're too busy making TikToks or, or posting this, yelling World Star in the background. I'm making the, I'm making the difference. I'm, I'm on the phone. I'm talking. I'm the dude with a gun, but I'm the good dude with a gun. And I want to make sure that the people that are going to show up with guns know that. Um, and then that way, there's not an extra incident for no reason. So there's a lot that goes into it. It's a stupid rambly video at this point about simple, cheap little earbuds that most people only care about because they're watching YouTube videos or listening to music at the gym. But understand that you should keep these with you all the time. You should try and stay on top of it, make sure they're charged up because if you do have to respond to a in emergency situation, whether it be yours or someone else's, um, hands-free communication to people that can further help you is probably a good idea regardless. Either way, guys, that's the video. I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much for staying this far. If you've made it to the end, make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe, okay? That really does help out an absolute ton. Got a bunch of links in the description box below as well as pinned in the comment section. Uh, if you're going to check out any of them, though, make sure you check out the first three. Okay, those are to help you, 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 her in the back, him up front, the old lady that was thinking about it, all y'all, okay, to protect yourselves. Because protecting the rights that protect you, which we all inherently have regardless of what ink on paper or politicians or, or the law says, uh, we all have the Second Amendment. 
even without the Constitution, we all have the Second Amendment and we have to fight for it because freedom isn't free. That's why I put it at the end of all of my videos to remind you guys. Um, so the first three links will help you contribute to organizations that are out there fighting for our rights, our Second Amendment rights. And to me, those are the most important because without those, nothing else matters because nothing can be done about it. So... Make sure you check those people out, GOA, FPC, and if you're out of Illinois, or even if you're not, the ISRA, okay? People very much so appreciate it. Either way, leave it in the comment section below. If you support the channel, like I said, like, share, comment, subscribe, that helps out more than you know. If, if you want to do more than that, by all means, there's plenty of options to do that. There's a bunch of links to awesome gear and stuff just like this in the link tree, in the comment section, and all that good stuff. But either way, think about it. Think about incorporating easier ways to communicate with people that you need to in an emergency situation because most people they their phone's dead they're this they're that they're whatever try and stay on top of it okay bad stuff happens everywhere to everyone and somebody might pull your card one of these days and you just never know set yourself up for success simple little stuff you incorporate it you probably got stuff like this laying around already that you're using for other purposes start thinking about the stuff that you have and how you can use it to help sustain your life or the lives of others okay people so that's what it's all about we're trying to survive we're trying to thrive and uh we're definitely trying to stay alive stay alive <laughs> That's it, people. I'm sorry. I love you. I appreciate you. And for real, don't you ever forget...